Hello, Alexis. Good evening. Good evening. How are you doing? ¿Cómo estás? Fine, and you? Fine. Well, a little bit sick. Hoy sí estoy un poquito enfermo, mira. But uh, that's the way. Esa es la manera a veces. Okay, are you at home, right? At home, en casa? Yes, yes. Okay, okay so tomorrow, you work tomorrow, right? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Have you have you had rest? Has tenido descanso? Yes. yes, of course. Okay. And what have you done? ¿Qué has hecho? Solo descansar, teacher. Rest. En la casa. Yes, okay, that's good. It, that's really good to have rest. So um did it rain? Llovió? Near your house? Yes. Okay. Okay, well, uh, here near my house, it was just uh, like a, a very small rain. Una lluvia, pues, bien, bien, bien pequeñita. Entonces, but that's okay. So, uh, do you have vacations during the year? ¿Tienen vacaciones durante el año? Yes, en julio. In July? Ay. Okay, well, that's good. That's good in July. That's nice. And how many days? Cuántos días? Um, 15. Okay, two weeks, 15. Okay, that's good. It is good to have like a, a very good rest and when descanso during the year. And uh, do you have vacations in July? Siempre, Julio. Yes, siempre. Okay. That's good. Well, at least you know, por lo menos ya sabes, you know, vacations uh, are important and you have during the year. So, uh, what about the 24th of December? You work. 24 de December? December 24th? No. No, oh, okay. Well, that, that's really good when you don't work on holidays. ¿verdad? A veces tenemos pues esos los, ¿cómo se llama? Fiestas. So it is good to have, to, to spend time with the family. So that is, hello, Jonathan. Vamos a ver esto, Jonathan. Hello, Jonathan, are you there? ¿Estás por ahí? Hello. Hello, how are you tonight? Good evening. A little tired, but very good. Okay, that's good. Uh, are you at home, right? Yes. Okay. And tomorrow, do you work tomorrow? Uh, not tomorrow. Not tomorrow. Okay. No. Okay. Have you been working at night? I started trabajando en la noche. Um, yes, but the week past, the past week, no sé. The this last, week, no. Last week. Mm -hmm. Okay. The last week, yeah. Okay, that's nice. Yeah, well, that happens sometimes that we have like overcharge. That happens. I know it. It is sad. It's triste a veces, but you can do it. <laughs> yeah, it is good to, to yeah. have or to take some vitamins. Bueno, tomar yeah. vitamina. But uh, I don't like you don't like it. No. Well, if you have I good, know. good, like healthy food, si tiene comida saludable, well, that, that's okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's good. So thank you. Hello, Evelyn. How are you doing? Hello, teacher. Okay. How are you? <laughs> are you okay? How are you? Estás bien? Good, excellent. Bye. Yes, yes, teacher. 
Okay. Well, I hope you feel better uh, even tomorrow. Creo que te aún te sientas mejor mañana. Recuerda que a veces, pues, well, today is Tuesday. Hoy es martes. Todavía necesitamos, pues, más. Eh, más día para llegar al fin de semana. Okay. So, we're going to start. Um, hello. Yes. Okay. And um, we have vocabulary practice. And in this one, here I, here I have like uh, the weather. Tenemos el clima. Okay. Hello, Alejandra. How are you tonight? Okay. Ale, I think she is trying to connect. Um, Astrid, hello, good evening. Hello. How are you tonight? Excellent, good? fine. Excellent, good. okay, me alegra. I really like to hear that, that energy, positive energy. Um, let's listen now to Carla. Hello, Carla, are you there? Well, I think they are trying to connect because they are now, um, here in the video conference. Hello, hello teacher, I am here. Okay. Good evening. Okay, good evening, that's good, that's good to know. Okay, uh, we here we have the weather, que es el clima. What is the weather you prefer? Okay, we have sunny, sunny days, días soleados. Rainy days, we have uh, días de lluvia o lluviosos. Snowy, que es días nevados o con nieve. Rainbow es arcoíris. Windy, días con viento o de mucho viento. Foggy significa nublado. Okay. Cloudy es uh, pues, nublado, ¿verdad? Eh, se refiere más que todo cuando no hay sol, ¿verdad? Solo hay nube. ¿verdad? Foggy, eso es neblina. Foggy, ¿ok? And stormy, when there is storm, the... the The storm is like a very heavy, como que pesadita la lluvia, okay? So let's listen, what's the weather you prefer? Let's listen to Jonathan, what, what's the weather you prefer? Uh, I prefer the rainy days. Rainy days, okay. Well, yeah. that's good. But if you go on motorcycle, it is difficult, right? Uh, yeah, it's a problem. <laughs> yeah, it's the problem, but the rest, it's, it's okay. Nice. Okay. Uh, what okay. about okay? What about Astrid? Hello, Astrid. What's your your what's the weather you prefer? Um, sunny. 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 Okay. Sunny days. Well, that's good. Todo lo que a veces hace calorcito con sunny days. But that's okay. Astrid, where do you live? I'm sorry. And I live in Ciudad Arce. Is it hot there? Es caliente? Yes. Yes, okay. Good. I can imagine that. Carly, okay. What's the weather you prefer? Uh, I prefer snowy. Okay, I, I prefer snowy. I prefer snowy. Snowy. Okay, con nieve, aunque ya lo has experimentado? Yes. No, never. No, but you would like to, pero te gustaría. Okay? Yes. That's nice. Okay, that's good. Alejandra, what about you? What's the weather you prefer? Hi, teacher. I prefer sunny days. Sunny days. Okay, Astrid, and you prefer sunny days. Okay, that's good. What about Raquel? What's the weather you prefer, Raquel? Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Uh, Rainy. Rainy days, okay. Okay, good. Sunny. Sunny. And sunny, sunny, okay. It is like the opposite, sunny and rainy, okay. Good for you, thank you. What about Maria? Hello, good evening, Maria. Hello, good evening. Uh, how are you doing? Mm, fine. Fine, okay, that's good. What's the weather you prefer? Uh, I prefer um, sunny and raining. 
sunny and rainy, okay. Uh, they are yeah. like opposite weather, but it's okay. If we have sunny and, and rainy, uh, qual, qual is, what's the, 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 the most you like? The, the most um, sunny. Sunny, okay. Yes. Okay, good for you. Now let's listen to Evelyn. Hello, Evelyn. Tell me the uh, weather you prefer. Hello, teacher. It's sunny day. Okay, yeah. sunny, sunny. Another person who likes sunny day. Thank you. Luis Mejia, what about you? What's hey, the weather? Good evening. Good evening. Uh, sunny day. Sunny days. Okay, that's good. It's good. And Raul, what about you? I prefer windy day. Okay, windy. Okay, windy. Mm -hmm. uh, okay, windy. Yes, that's good. And uh, well, when I was a kid uh, in October, we used to to fly kites, las picuchas, when windy. Cuando los días estaban con bastante viento. In October, antes, pues, eh, es algo bien común. Okay, in my case, I consider that I prefer cloudy days. I really like cloudy days or foggy days. So I live uh, near Planet de Renderos. So can you imagine the, the, the weather is really good? It's really good. So uh, I don't know if you have visited Puer La Puerta del Diablo in there. Uh, there is a lot of wind, hay bastante viento, and sometimes there is, uh, well, you can see fog, puede ver fog, como, como neblina, and the, the, the weather is, is really good, I really like it. So, well, now we talked about weather. Let's say, uh, ways to say yo también, las formas de decir yo también. Vamos a hacer un ejercicio en este momento. So, remember. We can use me too, or podemos usar so am I, or so do I, para decir yo también, when there is an idea that is positive, con una idea es positiva. I am happy, me too. I am happy too. I love you, me too. I love you too. And, the, and then we have I am happy, so am I. I love you, so do I. Okay? So that's it. We already know it. And then we have ways to say yo tampoco, formas para decir yo tampoco, either or neither. I am not happy. I am not either. Or I am not happy either. O podemos decir, I don't love you. I don't either. I don't love you either. Y también podemos utilizar el neither. I'm not happy. Neither am I. Or I don't love you. Neither do I. ¿Verdad? Y tenemos eh, la, la, la forma más, well, la, la forma más informal que es neither me, que se parece como al me too, pero opuesto para decir yo tampoco, ¿ok? So, here we have some sentences, tenemos algunas oraciones en las cuales, pues, ustedes eh, van a hacer estos, donde dice mi, 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 mi. Tenemos exercises, tenemos Jenny. Jenny es una persona que va a estar como pues comentando esto. Va a decir, Sarah loves chocolate. Ok, entonces vamos a hacer algo. Uh, recuerden, chocolate, um, Canadian, ayer vimos lo de las nacionalidades, Canadian, ¿verdad? Um, doesn't. Así que vamos a hacer lo siguiente. Um, I'm going to select some of you, por ejemplo, Alexis. Y Alexis va a leer, por ejemplo, la 1. Va a decir, Sarah loves chocolate. Y va a mencionar alguno de ustedes. Y esa otra persona va a contestar. Va a contestar. Ya sea con, con me too o con so am I, so do I. Si es positiva la oración, si es afirmativa. Y si es negativa, va a utilizar el either o el neither. Así como está acá. ¿Ok? So, let's see. The first person to participate, la primera persona en participar. Yeah, voy a dejar a Alexis. Okay, Alexis, you can start. Read okay. the sentence and then mention a person of the class. Okay? Mention a classmate. Alejandra. Mm -hmm. What number? Uh, number one. Okay. Sarah Lowe, 
chocolate. Okay, Sara loves chocolate. Mm -hmm. Me, so am I. Okay. En lugar del me, so... Bueno, en el me, muy bien, Alejandro, muy bien, muy bien. Solo no vamos a mencionar el me, ¿ok? Vaya, pero como no está utilizando el verb be, ¿verdad? So am I es cuando, por ejemplo, cuando dice Sara is in the park, pero aquí es un verbo. Entonces, en lugar del so am I, en lugar del am, utilizamos... Yes, so do I. Okay. Uh -huh. Aquí está, a ver, si es un verb be, utilizamos el am, pero si es cualquier otro verbo es el so do I. So, okay. Ok, eh, Alejandra, you go. Read sentence number two and mention another classmate. Jonathan. Ok. Eh, number uh -huh. eh, three. Eh, Catherine is Canadian. 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 Mm -hmm. Ok, Jonathan. Mira, la vieja confía el nombre, decía otra, hombre, Jonathan. No la vieja confía, ¿ok? Ajá. So am I. So am I. Ok, that's good. Thank you. Jonathan, you go. Pick one of okay. the, the sentences and mention another classmate. Number eight. Ok. She doesn't have any brothers or sister mm -hmm. para Roberto. Ok. Um, no, no, no. Um, dice, sí. She does doesn't have uh -huh. any brother or sister. Ajá, es negativa la oración. Uh -huh. Mi... Ah, um, me ha perdido aquí. Aquí está, mira. Cualquiera de las dos opciones. Aquí. Either or ah, sería, um, I don't... I, ne, neither do I. Ok, neither, neither. Neither, Luis. neither do I. Ok, yes, of course. Ok, continue, Luis. Um, and seven, it's uh, Raúl. Mm -hmm. uh, Dan lives in Madrid. Ok, Raúl, go ahead. So am I. Ok, good, so am I. Porque so, uh, bueno, casi, casi. Como lives, es, eh, no es el verb be, ¿verdad? Recuerden, el verb be, si alguien utiliza el is, el am o el are, si vamos a utilizar el so am I, pero si es un verbo, vamos a utilizar, Raúl. So do, so do I. So do I, yes, of course. Ok, continue, Raúl. One, three, eight and seven are taken. Tenemos two, four, five and six. Eh, number two para um, Astrid. Ok. I does. Ah, I'm sorry, I'm I sorry. I'm, I don't. I don't. <laughs> I don't play, play the piano. Ok, I don't play the piano. Ok, Astrid. Um, neither am I. Casi, Astrid. Estamos utilizando cualquier, ve, el don't. Entonces sería don't. neither. Do I. Neither do I. Ok, good. Ok, Astrid. Four, five, or six. Um, six. Mm -hmm. I have to study this weekend. Ok. Para María. Ok, María, la orgullosa. Yes. I have to study this weekend. I'm sorry, uh, number six. Yeah, I have to study this weekend. So do I. Yes, yeah, so do I. Okay, Maria, we have five and six. Okay. Um, Lucy doesn't come early in the morning. Mm -hmm. Mention Ana any classmate. Okay, la, la mera Christy. Ahí está, ¿eh? Ahí está. <risa> ya me preguntó. Uh -huh. Estaba en por la mañana, Lucy. ¿verdad? Es. So I am. Vaya, estamos utilizando el doesn't. 
es negativa. Mm, Tenemos negativa. que decir yo tampoco. Podría ser con el either, con el neither. Neither. Uh -huh. Neither. Neither. Neither I am. Ah, ah. Estamos uh -huh. utilizando el, un, el auxiliar. Ajá. Si fuera is, si puedes decir uh, am I, pero como es un verbo común o el auxiliar, vamos a utilizar. Neither, neither do I. Yes, neither do I. Ok, continue with number. Ah, no, se se nos quedó. Ah, number four. Ok, Cristi. Eh, she is not in the party. She's not in the party. ¿Para quién? Para Annie. Ok, Annie, para que no se duerme en clase. Sudo <laughs> hay. Muy bien, como estamos okay. diciendo que Ani no es, es negativa ah, la perdón. oración. Neither, neither am I. Yes, neither am I. Yes, of course. Very good. Muy bien. Excellent. I'm sorry. I think the mouse is not working. Uh. The mouse ya se está muriendo. But I think it is the battery. I'm sorry. Okay. Yes, here we go. Okay, what is the biggest risk you have taken? ¿Cuál es el riesgo más grande que has tomado? Y Astrid Tatiana va a ser la primera que me va a comentar cuál es el riesgo más grande. Si alguna vez se metió en deudas, si alguna vez fue a ver algún novio a saber dónde, si alguna vez prestó dinero y ya nunca se lo regresaron. Okay, there are a lot of risks that we uh, have In our life, hay muchos riesgos que nosotros tomamos, ok. Mientras eh, Astrid se prepara, I'm going to check the attendance list. Voy a revisar la lista de asistencia, ok. So, um, so, I'm going to give you a couple of seconds, ok. I say so prepare your answers. Ok, Alejandra, yes, right. Hello, teacher. Oh, thank you. Alexis. Nice. Christy. Present teacher. Nice. Thank you, Annie. Present teacher. Good. Um, Astrid. Yes, right. Present. Okay, Vladimir uh, is not here. Edwin, no. Evelyn. Present teacher. Thank you. Irma, no. Jenny, no. Jonathan. I'm here. Good. Karina. No, aquí Karina. Present. Ah, ya apareciste, Karina. Se me asusté. Ok, Carla. Present. Thank you, Carly. Luis. Present. Good. María. Hello. María. Oh, hello. Hello. Here. Ok, Norma, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm sorry, teacher. Um, give me five minutes, please. Okay. I have a problem with the, so, the CS platform. Okay, no, no problem. You take your okay. time and we're going to be here. Okay, okay. Uh, Raquel. Present. Yes, uh, Raúl. Present. Good. Wendy. Ya apareció Wendy. No. Okay, Jimmy. Tampoco. Okay, what is the biggest risk you have taken? Y de un solo me dicen, ¿verdad? Por ejemplo, work uh, for, for, for my ex girlfriend o lo que sea, ¿ves? traba. De un solo, díganme la oración, pero no es necesario que digan the biggest risk I have taken simplemente, ¿verdad? Me comenten, ¿ok? Astrid, uh, you are the first one, so let's listen to her. Um, my profession. I have the scenic panic problem. Really? Ok. Currently, actualmente. Or in the past, in the past. Uh -huh. The past. Okay. The past. Okay. Scenic uh, or stage panic. Tiene pánico escénico. Dice. Bueno, yo así era también, era bien calladito. Pero ni modo, la, la vida te, te hace malía. Okay. So, but now you are better. Ahora tú estás bien. Está mejor. No problem now. No problem. Okay, but it is a risk when you are shy. 
cuando eras callado o a veces no tanto, pero el estar en frente de la gente, en frente de an audience, eh, frente de una audiencia, ya. Yeah. They can be like even kids, pueden ser niños, but maybe you get nervous, te pones nervioso. Thank you. Very good, good risk. Okay, Annie, you are the next one. Me corrige porque no sé si está bien. No problem. Change, change words. Ah, change uh, job. Cambio de trabajo. Ah, jobs. Ah, jobs. Okay. okay, in the past or now? In the past. Eh, eh, and now también. And o sea, now. And en now. Tú, now tú. Two. <laughs> Dos veces. O okay, twice. Two times. Wow. Two times. That's good. Some, uh, there is something that is called comfort zone. La zona de confort. The comfort zone in, is when we are, uh, we got accustomed, estamos acostumbrados to the environment, to the money, to the schedule. Estamos acostumbrados a todo eso. And to change the job, cambiar el trabajo, it's a big risk. You don't know the new uh, colleagues, no conoce los nuevos eh, compañeros de trabajo. Do you know how it's going to be the environment? Okay. Or your boss. A veces no sabemos ni cómo va a ser el jefe. So that it is a big risk. So thank you, Annie. Thank you for telling. Okay. What about Jonathan? Tell us your big risk. Drive a car without brakes. Wow. From San on. Salvador to Chalatenango. Wow. Uh -huh. And did you know before? Taking the car, ya sabías antes de, de, de tomar el carro, or no? Uh, no, él funcionaba bien, pero de repente se le fueron. Suddenly, de repente, well, the, 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 the brakes, okay, broke down, se arruinaron, okay, wow. Uh, did you have a lot of problems or no problem? No, no problem because the transmission is automatic. automatic. Oh, well, that, that is really helpful because when it's yeah. like a mechanic, it is kind of difficult sometimes. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, Jonathan. Bueno, eso es bastante complicado. A mí solo una vez se me fueron los frenos, pero era un espacio corto. But uh, the, the reaction is different. La reacción es diferente. There are some people that get, they get in shock. Quedan como en shock. There are some others that think on solutions. Hay otros que piensan en soluciones, okay? So that's, that, that's something important. No, don't get prison. No, no quedarse como así congelado, okay? So thank you, thank you. Okay, Raul, what about you? What is the, the biggest risk? I was studying medicine out of my country. Out of your country, okay. What country? Cuban. Oh, really? How many years? Five years, eight years? Six years. Six years. Oh, wow. Uh, it was, I think it was a, a scholarship. Era una beca? Yes. Of course. Wow. Well, did you like Cuba? Yes, you like Cuba, more yes. or less. Okay. No, yes. Okay, I have a friend. He is a doctor and he studied in Cuba. And he said, that the Cuban are like, well, they have order, they say that they have order. It's very different when they take the bus, when they take the bus, they say that they have to fill it. As in the quarantine. Okay, yes, but uh, he mentioned good things in Cuba. He said that they have to mention good things in Cuba. Okay, well, a question, uh, Raul. Is it expensive? Es caro? Ahí en Cuba? No, bastante cómodo. Ok, it's cheap. Ok, le voy a, le voy a decir estas, estas palabras ya que me, estamos hablando de eso. Ok, um, we have, this is like, expensive uh, versus cheap. Ok. So when something is expensive, es que algo es caro, and cheap is barato, okay? So thank you, well, I think you, you had good memories from Cuba. Creo que tienes eh, buenos recuerdos de, de, de Cuba. Good for you. Y no te pego el hablado. 
No. The normal. No. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Now let's listen to Christy. Can you tell us about your risk? Puedes hablar de tus riesgos. Via general account, no work experience. Okay. okay. I have only study. Mm -hmm. You study and no experience, and you started working. Comenzaste a trabajar sin experiencia. Wow, that's good. General accountant. Ah, okay, general accountant. And let's see. Uh, how long time ago? Hace cuánto tiempo? Hace cuánto tiempo? Ten years. And now you have a lot of experience. Ahora tienes mucha experiencia. Yes. Of course, of course. Good for you, Crazy. Yeah. Y lo bueno es que también se te dio. You had that opportunity. Tuviste esa oportunidad de comenzar a trabajar. Well, that's good. That's good. Hey, thank you. Uh, Carly, your turn. Okay. Um, I saw at at four o'clock a.m. I go to the work. Okay, you went. No te capté so, mucho la idea. Mm -hmm. When me assault. assault. Ah, you. Ah, uh, well, you get Asa robbed. Assaulted. At, uh, at four a.m. Were you walking or on the bus? Walking. Walking. Wow. And it's a bit dangerous. Yeah, it is a bit dangerous, oh. especially because it's dark. Como está oscuro. Right? También es otro factor a veces. Okay. So you get robbed. Aquí está otra, otra palabra. Cuando te roban, got robbed. Eh, if significa ladrón, o también podemos decir Robert, pero no, Ro, no Roberto, él es, no, Robert es ladrón, thief, también es ladrón, so got robbed, como que me robaron, ok, ¿y qué te robaron? <clears throat> ¿O no te robaron? Sí te robaron. And money, the cell phone. Wow. Oh. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm so sorry. ¿Hace And cuánto? December. In December. Ok, in December. Wow. Imag ya puedo imaginar. ¿Quién imagine? Imagínense, pobre Karen le robaron mil dólares, celular y todo eso. Ok, wow. Even something that is really good, bad is the documents, right? Los documentos es lo que duele también. Ok, yes. A Raúl también me lo robaron. Raúl, ¿te robaron también a ti? No. No, yo voy a decir que el aguinaldo quizás también. Wow. <ríe> en eh, diciembre. Ok, también, Carly. No, a ella. Ajá, Como bueno, Carly. Diciembre. No, tiene suerte, dice que no, dice. No, you have to save the money. Tienen que guardarlo bien. Que sean los zapatos. Yes. <risa> that, that is uh, something that you ha we have to take into account. Debemos como que, que estar pendiente, ok. And we go now with Maria. Okay, Maria, are you ready with your risk? Um, yeah. Um, three years ago, I take a decision for a surgery for my nephew. Mm -hmm. And, well, <laughs> it's very difficult. Difícil, o sea, difficult. difficult. Yeah. Okay. Because he he has he has uh, his mom, but my nephew is the lead with with us. Okay, so you were in charge, estabas encargada, right? Yeah. So you were the responsible. So you yeah. took the decision to master the decision. Yeah. Okay. It is difficult. I mean, what is was a, a surgery very, very delicate. 
delicate, yeah. Okay, at the end, it, it was good? Or yeah, so very good. good. Okay. Very wow, good. Wow, wow. Well, nice. I, I really like to hear that. So your family is blessed. Tu familia es bendecida. Y que bueno, yeah. que bueno. That's a good, uh, well, it's good to know that. It's bueno saber eso. So thank you. Thank you very much. Okay, now we go with Raquel to finish. Vamos a Raquel y pasamos a otro tema. Y de ahí voy con el resto. The biggest risk. Uh, the biggest risk. I have take is to have a baby because for me it was a little difficult. difficult. It was difficult. Okay. Yes. It is like uh, maybe there are some special cases for women to have babies. Okay. And uh, some doctors recommend or don't recommend to have babies, right? Or they say, Depends on you, ellos dicen, va, depende de ti. Bueno, Raúl no, no, no sabe, ¿verdad? Que eh, es, bueno, son casos, pues, delicados, ¿verdad? Okay, so, uh, so, but at the end, you have your baby with no problem. Everything good? ¿Todo bien? Oh. Ok, good. So, well, congratulations, felicidades. Y que gracias, gracias a Dios, todo salió bien. I really like to, to hear good, uh, like good memories como buenas, este, buenos recuerdos o, o todas esas pasadas, me gusta que, que termine, tengan un final feliz. So, congratulations. Ok, Raquel. So, and are you planning to have another baby? Or not for the moment? For the moment, no. No, ok. Oh. But you're happy. Ahorita está feliz. Ok. Yes. Me alegra mucho. Que me alegra. Ok. So, so, thank you for all your opinions and all your memories, por todos sus recuerdos, to, todas sus anécdotas. anécdotas. Anecdotes. Aprendemos bastante. Cada día más. We go with prepositions of place. Tenemos in, on, under, next to, behind, in front of. In front of. Con B. In front of. No, of. Between. Between. In significa adentro. On significa sobre. Uh, under significa abajo. Next to significa a la par. No sé si se han dado cuenta, pero a veces este, en unas, um, en unas, en unos anuncios, ¿verdad? Están, que, que están llamando al siguiente y dicen next, next, o sea, next es siguiente, a la par. Behind, este es como que el más, el que se pronuncia diferente. O sea, difiere de su escritura. Behind significa atrás. In front of, enfrente de. Between significa entre. Ok. Vamos a pronunciar in, on, under, under, next to, behind, in front of, between. Muy bien, aquí tenemos la caja. Esta es una caja y esta es una pelota. Caja se dice box y pelotas se dice ball. Aquí puedo decir, the ball is in the box. Muy bien, Alexis, ¿cómo puedo decir que la pelota está sobre la caja? The ball. The ball on. Sería is, is. Is on. The box. Box, the box. Ok, good, ok, thank you, Raúl. Caja es eh, box. Box. Uh -huh. it's, it's ball under the box. The box. Ajá. Uh -huh. The ball is under the box. Ok, thank you. Raquel. Next to. Uh, the box is next to the ball. Okay, thank you. Alejandra, behind la pelota, the ball. Uh, the ball, the ball. Behind. Uh, behind. Behind. 
the box. Uh, I have the box. Okay, thank you. Annie, you go in front of. The board is in front of box. Okay, good. Astrid, between. The ball is between the box. Ajá, the boxes. Ser aquí porque será la caja. Yeah, good. Thank you. Muy bien. Ahora necesito que vean acá. Y cada uno me va a decir dónde se encuentran esos objetos, ¿verdad? Si quieren saber este, el nombre de los objetos, pues solo me dicen, ¿verdad? Tenemos acá póster, ¿verdad? Eh, la pared se dice wall. Eh, tenemos cama que se dice bed. Tenemos carro que se dice car, book, eh, colors or pen, cat, ¿verdad? Eh, tenemos car, tenemos socks, pantalón, jeans, fish, table, ¿verdad? Ball, eh, chair, box, computer, puede ser acá. Entonces vamos a utilizar todos estos, las propositions of place, para ubicar cada uno de esos, ¿ok? Bien, comenzamos con Luis, and then Jonathan. Ok, Luis. Um, cat mm -hmm. is uh, it's um, uh -huh. it's a bed. Vaya, eh, tenemos ah, después de is, tenemos que utilizar cualquiera de estos. Sería in, in front of Bet. Ok, aquí sería al revés. La cama está enfrente del gato, ¿verdad? The bed is in front of the cat, ¿ok? Uh -huh. Porque si no, el gato estaría atrás y atrás se dice behind. Uh, behind, be, okay. sería behind, bed, cat. Ah, uh -uh, no, sería the cat is... The cat is be, behind the bed. The bed, bed. The bed. ok, thank bed. you. Bed. Ok, uh, Jonathan... And then we go with Evelyn. The car is between the socks. Yeah, good. Thank you. Evelyn and then Karina. The bear, 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 also the bear. Bear. The bear. Bear. Uh, the bear is, the bear is, uh, in front. Mm -hmm. In front. Or in front. Next to. Next to. The bear. The bear. Okay, the bear. The bear. Okay, thank you. Okay, Karina, then we go with Carla. The bed is next to the window. <laughs> okay, good. Thank you. Y pues ya te voy a pedir que actives la cámara, Cari. Remember that it is important. Thank you, Cari. Carla. Sí, and then Raquel. Teacher, es que estoy desde la compu y no funciona la cámara de la compu. Ah, ok, you have problems. Ok, ok. So, thank you for telling. Gracias por comentarme. Ok, Carla, and then Raquel. Um, the computer on the table. The computer is? Is... The computer is on the table. Yes, thank you. Okay, Raquel, and then we go with Raúl. The fish mm -hmm. on is on the table. Okay, muy bien. Solo que recuerda que eh, fish, eh, igual no se hace plural, pero aquí como serían los pescados, serían the fish are, porque hay dos pescaditos. Mm -hmm. Okay, good, Raquel, el resto está bien. Ok, Raúl. The pens next, next to the book. Ok, the pens, falta el verbo to be. The, the pens. Uh, sería is o sería are? Uh, are. Yes, are next to the book. Ok, Thanks thank you. Are. Ok, good. Alexis, and then we go with Astrid. Ok, Alexis. The teddy. Is in front of the bed. Good, the teddy. El osito es en frente de la, de la cama. Good, okay. Astrid and then Annie. Um, the book 
is on the table. Yes, good. Annie and then Alejandra. The board is on the chair. Under the chair. Uh, the chair. Okay, thank you. Okay, uh, Christy and then Alejandra. Ah, eso se dice night table. Night table. Entonces sería the lamp on night table. Okay, the lamp is. The lamp is. The lamp is mm -hmm. on. On the table. Yes. On the table. Yes. Okay. Good, thank you. Alejandra. Uh, the buy is uh, under chair under the ball the boy is under on, chair under the chair. chair yes under the chair yes okay. thank you bien aquí tenemos otros más fáciles verdad eso se dice sofa el sofá eh, almohada se dice pillow ¿Verdad? Pecera se dice fish bowl, como super bowl. Bowl es como un, ¿qué? Eh, como un tazón, ¿verdad? Bowl es el book, table, ¿verdad? Eh, es el bowl también, ¿ok? So let's listen to some of you. Alexis, you go and then let's listen to Carly. Ok, Alexis. Uh -huh. Okay, activate the microphone because we can hear you. The ball is under the table. Oh, good. Thank you. Okay, Carly, and then Raul. La pelota, de pelota. No, the ball, ball. Ah, ya lo dijo. Sí, ya lo dijo. The fish... The fish bowl. Uh -huh, the fish bowl. The fish bowl is on the table. Okay, good. Thank you. Me gusta porque te estabas inventando, Carly. De pelo, dice. Se le gusta inventar. Okay, good. We go now with Annie and then Maria. Okay, Annie. Uh, the the pillow pillow on the the sofa okay the pillow is on the sofa uh, yes mm -hmm. okay yes. thank you okay next uh, the sofa is between the table and the dot okay thank you thank you Very good, Maria. Recuerden utilizar el is o el are, ¿verdad? Porque no me lo están utilizando algunos, ¿verdad? Se, como que solo dicen on y de ahí la, la... Por ejemplo, el gato. The cat on the sofa, ¿verdad? Pero hay que decir the cat is on the sofa. Ok, good. Aquí tenemos otros, ¿verdad? Por ejemplo, aquí dice behind, ya lo sabemos, in front, ¿verdad? Next to, between. Este near significa cerca. Near significa cerca. Pero near es un poquito relativo, ¿verdad? No, no tiene como un lugar como muy específico. Above significa sobre, pero no pegado como on. On está pegado, sobre, pero above es como arriba. Sobre. Below se parece a under, ¿verdad? Son similares. In, adentro y on es lo que les decía que es sobre, pegado, ¿verdad? Behind, in front of. Next to, between, near, above, below, in, on. Ok. De aquí tenemos estas, algunas de estas preposiciones. Pero estas se utilizan para las direcciones. Que ya vamos a hablar de esas direcciones. ¿eh? On, in, at. On Fourth Avenue. ¿Verdad? Vamos a ver si Raquel me ayuda. On Fourth Avenue. Y aquí estamos in. In El Salvador. Ajá, uh -huh. at. At the meeting, meeting room. Meeting, meeting room. Okay. Meeting room. Thank you. Annie. 
on on the corner in mm -hmm. San Salvador at work. Okay, thank you. Luis, on on the street in the park at the bank. Okay, thank you. In the neighborhood. In the neighborhood. Neighborhood. Okay, thank you. Bien, entonces ya sabemos que, miren, on es para una avenida, para la esquina o en la calle, sobre la calle. In El Salvador, it's a Salvador in the park, neighborhood, at the middle room, at the work, at the bank. Ok, ya vamos a hablar de las direcciones, ¿verdad? Que de nuestros trabajos. Ok, so, aquí tenemos complete the location, vamos a completar la ubicación, ¿verdad? En este caso me va a ayudar Jonathan, please. Pick one of these. Y aquí vamos a utilizar ya sea on, in, at. Ok, Jonathan, you go. Ok. I work in the bank. Perdón. I work in the bank. I work in the bank. That, that, is, that is on First Avenue. Ok, good. Okay, Thank good. you. Thank you. Okay, let's continue. Street. Okay, the Barrow Street. Yes. The Barrow Street. Yes. Okay. Uh, let's listen to okay. Karina. Their factory is located on the Libertad. In. Thank you. In the Libertad. Okay. That's good. Now let's listen to Astrid. Astrid. And a work in the company that is in town. In town, yes. Thank you. Okay, Alexis, you go. Okay, Alexis, you go. Serhin, as we are at the meeting. Thank you. Everybody. Yes, thank you. Yes, thank you. Okay, nos queda tres y cinco. Ani, ¿me puedes ayudar? Ani, ¿me puedes ayudar? My, we see you. Recuerdo. Recuerdo. At. 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 Training route or. The in cafeteria. Or in, in, or in cafeteria. In cafeteria. Okay. Thank you. Okay, yeah, Chrissy, me ayudas con la número 5. Uh, my relative go to the mall that is on Roosevelt Street. On Roosevelt Street. Thank you. Thank you. Bien. Seguimos con los riesgos que han tenido, los riesgos más grandes. Y en este caso, pues, vamos a escuchar a Ani, ¿ok? Ani, ah, no, tú ya me dijiste, no, no me has dicho. Verdad. Ok, cuéntame sobre tus riesgos. Yo ya lo dije. Ya me lo dijiste, Cristina también, sí. bien. Ah, pues, me hace falta a Alexis. Entena, Alejandro. Okay. Forget my ex and since that is will no longer be toxic. Okay, you forgot que te que te que olvidaste? You forget my ex and since that is will no longer be toxic. Wow, wow. Opa. Te olvidaste de ella o qué olvidaste de ella? I'm sorry. Era tóxica. Mm, Dios mío. Dios, Dios te cuide, hombre. Well, it is a big risk because uh, sometimes you know what is going to happen or sometimes we don't know. A veces sabes qué es lo que te va a pasar o qué no, pero independientemente, that's dangerous. Como decía Don Ramón, esta señal significa peligro. Okay, good. Alejandra, your turn. Okay. Eh, no sé si lo Uh, sorry, relative, familiar. Okay, maybe she's having problems. 
con que tienes problemas con internet. Eh, mientras se establece, vamos con Evelyn. Tal vez Evelyn nos puedes contar acerca de ti. Hi, teacher. Hello. Bien, necesito que te acerques al micrófono lo más que puedas y nos cuentes sobre tu riesgo más grande. Uh, eso fue en April last year. Ok, last year. Last year. En la propia pandemia. Uh -huh. La pandemia es serious. Lo que me sucedió en la propia pandemia, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Ah, mi riesgo fue el más grande es fue eh, sé que en paz y you al comen you have COVID está by eh, dice en paz paz o sea pasar by you al comen you have COVID okay yo fui al doctor y pasé a la par de una mujer que tenía COVID. Oh, wow, wow. Mm -hmm. ¿Y, te, y, y, te, ¿Y te dio COVID? ¿Te infectaste? No, no. Oh, wow. no, gracias a Dios, no, pero sí. Pero me imagino que sí te dio miedo. You were like frightened. Yo lo que hice fue meterme al laboratorio y salí corriendo porque, porque las enfermeras decían que con urgencia a la mujer la tenían que llevar a en el hospital. Y yo hasta Dios le había dicho porque ya la conocí. <ríe> wow. Mm -hmm. El doctor terrible, escuché. Yes, yes. No, no, es que en ese momento, cuando estaba la propia pandemia, la cuarentena, la propia, no, sí. eso fuera, eso era casi debido de a muerte. Ver a alguien de COVID pasar, uno no quería estar cerca de nadie. No, yo pasé cerca de él. Yes, I know. Y yo que... Sí, sí, no, nos pusimos bien eh, paranoicos todos, todos pues, estuvimos así. April last year. Ok, last year, sí, fue lo, eh, como dicen en la mera. Okay, thank you, Evelyn. Thank you for telling your risk. Ok, Karina, eh, Alejandra, ok, Ale, ya tenemos estabilidad, me parece, de Inter. Cuéntanos, Ale. Ay, perdón si se me fue la señal. No problem, no problem. Um, no sé si lo redacté bien, pero bueno. Um, When she was little, I was two years old. I get stuck. Uh, no sé si conocen los jazz o pirinolas, como le dicen. No, pero te quedaste eh, como trabada, te quedaste eh, atrapada. Sí, me, no, me tragué una, una jazz, una de esas cositas que con las que uno jugaba de niña. Que traen ah, el baloncito. los jacks. Ajá, no sé. los jacks, exacto. Ale. Yo, yo sé, casi me muero. Pobrecita. Ok. Sí. Um, eh, could you breathe? ¿Podía respirar? Oh, eh, no, bueno, bueno, mi mamá me cuenta y creo que eso ha sido como lo más malo que me ha pasado, que estaba morada ya, o sea, ya yes. estaba así y, y mi papá logró como como dármele vuelta, ve mm. ahí me llevaron pues ve, a, a que wow, me las vale. yeah, it's very, very difficult because it is plastic and it is sí, very son peligrosos hard para los bien niños. Duro y pun, puntudos también. Puntudos, ajá, son como como estrellitas, algo así, no sé. Sí, Ale. Bien, bueno, qué bueno que pudiste salir de esa, mira, qué complicada es. Okay, thank you, Alejandra. Karina, your turn. Tu turno. Okay, um, I guess work and study at the same same time. Mm -hmm. Working and studying at the same time. And it is currently, it is actual, ¿verdad? O así comenzaste, cuando te referiste, yes. cuando comenzaste a trabajar. Okay. And you started last year, two years ago. ¿Hace cuánto comenzaste? Last year. Last year, ok. At the same time, the, al, al mismo tiempo que empecé la universidad, empecé a trabajar. Wow, ok. So, continue, go ahead, sigue adelante. I know that it is a risk, and sometimes you don't have time to rest. A veces no tienes tiempo para descansar, or go out, but uh, continue, ok. Uh, 
debes de continuar. Es difícil, pero es un riesgo que vale la pena. Ok, so thank you, Karina. Ok, um, let's see now uh, the... Vamos a ver ahorita algunas indicaciones. Le voy a preguntar dónde están ciertas, puede estar, dónde está el banco, bank, o el mall, centro comercial, o restaurant, o sport palace, park, school, church, city hall, que significa alcaldía, church, iglesia, book world, arrows, company. Y ustedes me van a decir, ya sea que está on Barry Street, on First Avenue, on Second Avenue, on Street, on Roosevelt Street, y me pueden decir in front of, en frente de, next to, a la par de, ok, o between, entre, ok, so let's ask uh, to Raquel, and then Annie, ok Raquel, where is the bank? Uh, the bank is Next to? Next to? Um, the mall. Next to the mall on? On, eh, Barrios? Under? No. Sobre la calle Barrios. Eh, se dice between. No, 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 no. En este caso, acuérdense, aquí vamos a utilizar eh, estos, ¿ve? On the street, en tal calle, ¿ok? The bank is in front of the mall on... On... Barrio Street. On Barrio Street, ok, thank you, thank you. Ok, now let's listen to... Ok, Luis, where is the restaurant? Um... Uh, quiero ver en Roosevelt Street on Roosevelt Street on Roosevelt Street next restaurant next to next okay. to no pero te estoy preguntando dónde es el restaurante next to qué mm, it's a mall okay next to the mall a la par de, de, de Next comercial. to the mall mm -hmm. y next to the Arrows Company. Ok, ok, good, thank you. Now let's listen to Annie and then Alexis. Ok, Annie, where is the school? ¿Dónde está la escuela? La escuela. The school in. In front, in front of, in front of, the sport palace. Sport palace, okay. On, on, barrios strip. Okay, thank you. Okay, Alexis. Um, where is the city hall? Uh, on Second Avenue. Yes. Uh, between a book war and, and short. Short. Excellent. Very good. Okay. Uh, Tatiana, where is the park? Uh, the park uh, is next to the sport palace mm -hmm. and in first on uh, on on first ave, ave, no sé cómo se dice avenue. Avenue. avenue avenue okay okay on first avenue and second avenue okay thank you jonathan where is arrows company um Arrows Company, it's on Roosevelt Street, between restaurant and book world. Okay, thank you. 
Raúl, what is Sport Palace? Sport Palace is on Barrios Street mm -hmm. um, between the school and the bank. Thank you. Nice. Okay, Karina, what is the city hall? City Hall is on Second Avenue. Okay. Yeah, City Hall is on Second Avenue. Y podemos decir between the church and the book world. Okay. Eso es como pues unas direcciones y es eh, pues importante pues, saberlas. Okay. Now, which is uh which Street is on, is the restaurant on? ¿Qué calle? ¿Verdad? Está sobre el restaurante. Which street is the restaurant on? Vamos a preguntarle a Raquel. Ajá. Uh -huh. ¿Qué calle? Uh, Russell, Russell Bell Street. Ok, Roosevelt Street. Thank you. Okay, let's see, Alejandra, which street is the city hall on? Okay. City hall. ¿Qué calle? Mm -hmm. Second Avenue. Okay, Second Avenue, pero es avenida, street. pero como te estoy preguntando, street sería... Roosevelt Street. Roosevelt Street. Okay, thank you. Now let's listen to three. Which street is the park on? ¿Verdad? Sobre cuál calle está el parque? Okay, in this case, I'm going to ask to Cristina. The park. Between. 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 On Barrios Street. Yes. On Roosevelt yeah. Street. Of course. Bien, Cristina. Good. Okay. Now, here we have the prepositions of place. Ya sabemos, ¿verdad? In, que es adentro, on, sobre, under, abajo, next to, a la par, behind, atrás, in front of, uh, en frente de, between, entre. Okay. Ways to ask for address or direction. Estas son las formas para pedir una uh, dirección, ¿verdad? Entonces, vamos a ver. Astrid, me ayuda con la primera. Excuse me. Y después tenemos la segunda que va a ser María. ¿Ok? Excuse me. Can you tell me the way to this? Museum. 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 Ajá, museum. Thank you. Ok, and then we, we go María and then Evelyn. Excuse me, how do I get to the post office? Thank you. Okay. Now here we have um, uh, Evelyn and then we have uh, Luis. Pardon. 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 Pardon me. Pardon. No puedo. No puedo. Oh. Okay. Pardon me. I am lost. We do. I head to the cafe. To the cafe. Aha. Uh -huh. Pardon me. Mire, pardon me es como decir excuse me o decir I'm sorry. Pardon me. I'm lost. How do I get to the cafe? Mm -hmm. Porque coffee es, es, es bebible. Entonces, café es cafetería. Okay. Thank you. Here we have uh, con please. ¿Verdad? Please, please tell me how I get to your apartment. Apartment. Yes. Good. How Uh -huh. Please tell me how I get to your apartment. ¿Verdad? Son formas para pedir eh, la, la dirección para el museo, para el post office, para el café o para un apartamento. Ok, good. Bien, aquí tenemos esto que es uh, bank, ¿verdad? Flower shop, hospital, pet shop. Ok. Entonces, en este caso vamos a preguntar where is y podemos decir, where is toy store? No toy, sorry, toy store. Where is restaurant? 
What is fast food restaurant? Pero entre ustedes lo van a preguntar. Ok, Raúl comienza. Raúl va a preguntar a cualquiera de ustedes. Where is the bank? Uh, where is the music store? Y ustedes pueden decir, ¿verdad? Pueden decir on Rosa and Silva Avenue, on Santos Dormont Street, in front of, en frente de, y todo eso. ¿Verdad? Ok, Raúl. ¿A quién le vas a preguntar? A Luis. Ok, go ahead. Where is school? Where is the school? Um, Amelia Street. On? On. Uh, fast, uh, the next fast food restaurant. Okay, on Amelia Street and, uh -huh, and sería next to fast food restaurant. Good, Luis. Ahora tú preguntas a alguien más. Um, Bookstore. Where is Jonathan. the bookstore? Where is bookstore, store? Jonathan. Okay, Jonathan. Where is the bookstore? Uh, the bookstore is on Santos Dumont Street. Mm -hmm. um, no, it, it's between esa y verdad. Yeah. It's between Santo Down Street and mm -hmm. Rosa y Silva Avenue. Yeah, aquí está la esquina. Good. Now you, Jonathan, ask to another person. Okay, where is the supermarket, Karina? Mm -hmm. The supermarket is, in, is between Amelia Street and Rosa and Silva Avenue. Okay, good, good. Okay, Karina, ask to another person. Um, where is the bank, Cristina? Mm -hmm. um, Santos Turman Street. Sería in front or in or from. In front flower shop. Ok, in, fl in front flower shop. Good. Ahora tú, Cristina, pregunta a alguien más. Uh, where is hospital? Where is hospital? Ok. Where is hospital? Uh, Raquel. Ok, Raquel. Ok, Raquel. Uh, the hospital is next to mm -hmm. on um, next, next to the, the, the pet shop yeah te podemos decir eso okay Good. ahora tú Raquel pregúntale a alguien más uh, where is the music store Alejandra yeah. Okay, Alejandro, where is the music store? The hey, music store um, is between uh, Santos Dumont Street. And? And, um, and the toys, uh, Rosa uh, Silva Avenue. Yes, good, good, okay. Thank you. Vamos a ver la última. ¿A quién le preguntas la última? Puede ser restaurant, supermarket, puede ser pet shop. Vale. Um, pet shop. Uh, Alexis. Ok. Where is? Where is the pet shop? On Amelia Street. Mm -hmm. Next to hospital. Okay, good. Thank you. Thank you very much. Very good answers. Buenas respuestas. Bien. Where is located your workplace? Bien, en este caso me pueden decir lo siguiente. ¿Verdad? My job or my workplace is... Y si quieren pueden decir alguna calle. Si conocen la calle, por ejemplo, on Roosevelt Street... 
o puedes decir next to a la par de, si conocen un libro Caesars, next to City Hall a la par de la alcaldía, o next to the park, in front of the park, ¿verdad? Así que necesito que me den una descripción breve de su lugar de trabajo, ¿ok? Así que comenzamos con Raúl, ¿ok? Algo sencillo, no se complique. ¿Qué, okay, Raúl? ¿Where is your workplace? The medical clinic is on the main street Santa Barbara Boulevard in front of the municip municipal market. Wow, very, very detailed description. Muy buena descripción de tu dirección. Excellent, Raúl. Thank you, thank you. Mencionó algo, on Main Street, en la calle principal, ¿verdad? sobre la calle principal. Thank you, Raúl. Good. Ok, uh, María, can you help us, please? Um, my word is in the end on Avenue, no, uh, Francisco Gavidia Avenue, okay. in Ciudad Arte. Okay, good, good for you. Thank you. Okay, what about Alexis? My word is uh, 11 Avenue North, Santa Ana, next to Criminal Aponteos. Wow. <laughs> okay, <laughs> you are close to, to Aponteos, okay? Good to know. Bueno, saberlo. Thank you. What about Karina? My workplace is located on 45 Avenue South um, behind Estadio Flor Blanca next to Cesar. Wow, good. Thank you. Thank you. Luis Mejia and then Evelyn. Um, land, land border, El Poi, municipality of Citala. Department of Chilatenango. Okay, good. Thank you. Evelyn and then Christy. I go here you. Okay. So, good. Mm -hmm. Let's listen to Christy and then okay. Alejandra. At Bambu At Bamboo City Shopping Center on a street. No sé si se dice también Boulevard Street. Mm -hmm. okay. On a street the Hippodromo. San on, Salvador. Okay, on street of okay. Hippodromo. Okay, thank you. Okay, Alejandra and then Annie. And your dictionary in Highway. Eh, Panamericana Street Chitiupa in San Salvador of the San Salvador is my um, La Gran Vía in front on Cinemark. Okay, thank you. Thank you very, very much. Okay, now let's listen to Annie and then Raquel. Uh, my workplace is located on the Fort Fine Avenue behind the, the, the Magico Gonzalez Stadium, Stadium, San Salvador. Okay, good. Raquel, and then Tatiana. Um, my work is in Santa Elena in front of the Fiscalía General de la República. Hmm. Okay, good. Thank you. Okay. Astrid and then Carly. My work is Avenue Francisco Gavidia next to Shorts Eliam. Eliam. Okay, thank you. On, on Francisco Gavidia Avenue. Okay, thank you. Good. And then listen to Carla and finally with Jonathan. Uh, my workplace is in kilometer 47 strip to the Costa del Sol next to the gas station Puma. Wow. And in front of the fry zone, fry zone El Pedregal, zona okay. franca. 
<laughs> okay, thank you. Okay, Jonathan, you go. My work is on Chalatenango, El Poi, near from Honduras, Ocotepeque. Okay, yes, Ocotepeque. Yes, you mentioned that last time. Okay, thank you. Thank you very much. Well, uh, now that we have like uh, this very clear, we're going to practice a short conversation. Vamos a practicar una conversación bastante, bueno, cuatro, que son bastante cortas, ¿verdad? So now this conversation, well, you have these conversations on uh, your not on your cell phones, okay? So let's see, number one, do you have a pen I can use? No, but I have a pencil. Thanks. Do you have an eraser? The pencil has an eraser. Great. And some paper? My gosh. You don't have anything. But in este caso, my gosh significa ah, como que mi Dios. You don't have anything. No tienes nada. Anything significa nada. Okay. Two. Would you like a sandwich? I would love a sandwich. And some chips? Some chips sounds nice. And a drink? I'm okay. I have water. Now here we have. What do you think about your new house? It's nice. It has a kitchen, a big bedroom, and a nice bathroom. Do you have a garden? No, but I have a courtyard. Nice. Do you have a good view? No. There is a building next door. And four. Uh, did you like the book? Yes, I love the ending. Really? I thought the ending was not that good. No way. The surprise at the end was great. Did you like the characters? Yes, I liked everything about it. Yeah. Characters. Yeah. ¿Tienes un lapicero que yo pueda usar? No, pero tengo un lápiz. Ah, gracias. Eh, ¿Tienes un borrador? El lápiz tiene un borrador. Genial. ¿Y algo de papel? Wow, como diciendo rayos. Oh, mi Dios, tú no tienes nada. Dos. Eh, ¿Te gustaría un sándwich? Eh, me encantaría un sándwich. ¿Y algo de papas? Eh, algunas papas suenan genial. ¿Y una bebida? Estoy bien, tengo agua. Vamos con la tres. ¿Crees? Eh, ¿Qué piensas acerca de tu nueva casa? Está bonita, tiene una cocina, un gran dormitorio y un baño, un buen baño. ¿Tienes un jardín? No, pero tengo un, eso es como de esos patios frontales que son pequeños, ¿verdad? No es jardín, es grande, pero porter es como un pequeño jardincito. Nice, do you have a good view? Bien, ¿tienes una buena vista? No, hay un edificio a la cual. Eh, ¿Te gustó el libro? Sí, me encantó el final. De verdad, pensé que el final no era tan bueno. De ninguna manera. La sorpresa al final es genial. Uh, ¿Te gustaron los personajes? Sí, me gustó todo acerca de eso. Pencil. Pencil. Eraser. Eraser. Anything. Sounds. Think. View, building, the ending, thought, thought, no way, surprise, characters, everything. Ok, creo que no tenemos ya duda de esto. Vamos a, let's practice a little bit. Vamos a practicar un poco acerca de... Um, this, bueno, vamos a practicar. Así que, let's see. We're going to check. Okay, see you in a couple of minutes. Lo veo un par de minutos.
and some chips. Some chips, some, some nice. And a drink. I am okay. I have water. What do you think about your new house? It's nice. Do you have a good view? No, there is a building next door. Conversation four. Did you like the book? I love the ending. Courtier. 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 Yeah, court. Como court. Como corte. Courtier. Courtier. Yeah. Nice. Do you have a good view? No, there is a building next door. Conversación cuatro. Did you like the book? Yes, I love the, the, the ending. Really? I... But I have a pencil. Hence, do you have an eraser? The pencil has an eraser. Great. And some paper? My gosh, you, you don't uh -huh. have anything. Uh, number two, would you like a sandwich? I would love a sandwich. And some chips? Some chips sound nice. And a drink? I am um, okay, I have water. Wow. What do you think about yeah, yeah. your new house? Yeah. It's nice. It has a kitchen, a big bedroom. Es, no sé cómo se pronuncia yeah. esta. ¿Cuál? Um, Be ¿Se escribe bedroom? Uh, a, big a big bedroom. Bedroom, ok. Uh, gracias. And a nice bathroom. O oh, bedroom. Bathroom, creo. Bathroom, ok. Do you have a garden? No, but I have a court year. Nice. Do you have a good Yes, I like everything about it. Ahora sí tenía pereza de, de, de ingresar a la clase. Ok. Okay, my friends, we have 30 minutes, 30 minutes, y terminamos, ya estamos ya en, en la recta final de, de esta clase, eh, pues comentarles antes que, que practiquemos acá, acerca de un correo que se les ha enviado a todos, ¿verdad? Entonces, ese, bueno, me comentaban que ya está en el proceso de la inscripción para el nuevo curso, ¿verdad?, Así que es importante que puedan proveer ustedes. Es importante que ustedes envíen toda la información, ¿verdad? Que se les piden los correos para que los puedan nuevamente inscribir en el curso que viene, ¿verdad? Así que eh, se vieron en, en el WhatsApp que eh, ahora enviaron esa información. Así que les, les recomiendo que estén como pendientes de eso, ¿verdad? Que estén pendientes de enviar toda esa información que les piden ahí para poderlos, pues, eh, matricular, ¿verdad? Ingresar en, en todos, eh, en el siguiente curso, ¿verdad? Comento esto para que no se vayan a quedar sin cupo o para que, para darle seguimiento 
a lo que se le solicita, ¿verdad? En el, en ese correo. Así que cualquier cosa, cualquier duda conmigo o con Elena, ¿verdad? Este, estamos ahí para apoyarlos y para, pues, aclarar un par de dudas. ¿Ok? Muy bien. 28 minutos y eh, finalizamos. Ya estamos casi por, por terminar. Ya solo nos quedarían, déjenme ver. Este, parece que cuatro clases, ¿verdad? Cuatro clases en we finish this course y terminamos este curso. Muy bien. Sí, ya. Yeah. ¿Hasta qué tarea deberíamos de llevar ahora? Ah, déjenme ver. Que ya eh, todo, vaya, tenemos cuatro unidades, ¿verdad? Recuerden, tenemos cuatro unidades y debemos de haber terminado la tercera unidad. O sea, después de las primeras dos unidades hicieron el midterm, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Que es el examen de, de, de medio curso y eh, terminar la tercera unidad, ¿verdad? Y este, ahora estamos, pues, quiero ver, comenzando en la última unidad. O sea que con esta sería la primera tarea de la cuarta unidad. De la cuarta. Ok, thanks. Ok, ¿verdad? Para que se pongan al día, eh, quiero felicitarles, ¿verdad? La mayoría, bueno, casi todos llevan buenas notas, ¿verdad? Y me alegra que hayan podido, pues, completar las tareas de la plataforma y todo eso. Y que no se les dificulte. I really like to see your good grades. Bien, vamos a ver acá. Tal vez me puede ayudar, um, pues... Vamos a pedirle la ayuda a Astrid. ¿Con quién estuviste, Astrid? Con Luis. Ok, ¿me ayudan con conversation number one? Do you have a pen I can use? Uh, no, but I have a pencil. Thanks. Do you have an eraser? The pencil has an eraser. Great. Uh, some paper. My gosh, you don't have anything. You don't have anything. Yeah, that's true. Thank you. Bien, vamos con Raúl, number two. ¿Con quién estoy practicando, Raúl? Who was your, your classmate? Mm. Ajá, ¿con quién estuviste practicando, Raúl? No te acuerdas. No, es que como no estaba activada la cámara. <risa> Qué bárbaro, cómo no. Con Carla, contigo practicaron, Carla. Yes. Qué bárbaro, Raúl. Ok, number two, you go. Uh, would you like a sandwich? I would love a sandwich. And some chips. Some chips sounds nice. And I drink. I am okay. I have water. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Very good. Now let's listen to Alexis. Me dice que Alexis que va con la tres, Alexis. Yes. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Con Ana. Ready, Ana? Ready, Ana? Ana. Okay. Con todo. Con todo. What do you think about your new house? It's nice. It has a kitchen, a big bedroom, and a nice bathroom. Do you have a garden? No, but I have a container here. Nice. Do you have a good view? No, it is really next door. Yes, good. Very good pronunciation. Thank you. Y en este me va a ayudar Jonathan. Me ayuda con la cuatro, please. Okay. Uh, con Ana. Hey, con Did Ana. you like the book? Yes, I love the ending. Really? I thought the ending was not that good. No way. The surprise at the end was great. Do you like the characters? Yes, I like everything about it. Yeah, good. Thank you. Yes, I like. En el otro curso van a ver lo del pasado y ahí se van a dar cuenta de la pronunciación de, de, de algunos verbos regulares. Sería I like. Todo lo que termina con K y se le agrega ED eh, se escucha como con T. Por ejemplo, work se pronuncia work. Y aquí like. ¿Verdad? Así que están bien. Ok. 
24 minutos y terminamos. Nos vamos a ir a la última conversation. Verdad que esta sí no se las he enviado, pero eh, vamos a practicar el, bueno, parte de lo que es el can, ¿verdad? El can es un auxiliar que sirve, que es este, para expresar, um, para expresar alguna habilidad que ustedes pueden hacer. Solo que aquí vamos a ver, le vamos a poner el can't acá. ¿Verdad? Así que necesito que pronuncie can y can't. ¿Verdad? Can, can't. La T es la que pues este, diferencia. ¿Verdad? Así que vamos con la primera. Um, ya casi para terminar la clase. Vamos. So, Todd, are you good at sports? I am pretty good at sports. Pretty significa bonita, pero en este caso significa como very, como muy. No sé si se han dado cuenta, pero a veces cuando me preguntan how are you, yo les digo pretty good. Pretty good significa muy bien. I am pretty good at sports. I can play basketball and baseball. And I can run pretty fast. But I can't jump that high. Can you play soccer? No. Aquí lo vamos a poner la otra. No, I can't play soccer. Well. Because I am not good at kicking the ball. No soy bueno pateando el balón. Conversation two. Can you sing well? Puedes cantar bien. No, I can't sing at all. I have terrible voice. My friend can sing very well. So she has a beautiful, a beautiful voice. ¿Verdad? Terrible. Can you play an instrument? No, I can't. Aquí lo vamos a... No, I can't play an instrument either. Mira, aquí está el either que significa tampoco. I have no talent in music. Tres. Are you good at cooking? Y aquí, de igual manera. I can't cook very well. I can only make basic things. Oh, yeah. What can you cook? I can cook an omelet and I can bake cookies. That is all I can do. Yeah. I can't cook either. So are you good at computers? I'm very good at computers. I can make websites and I can write software. Oh, can you fix a computer? I can fix... A computer. No sé por qué me sale así. Great. Can you fix my computer? I can try. Y la última. Are you good with cars? I'm pretty good with cars. I can fix them if they need repairs. Repairs. Yeah. What sort of things can you do? I can do lots of things like change the tire and change the oil. Oh, that's great. Bien, voy a necesitar que eh, tomen captura de pantalla de la 1 y de la 2 y después de la 3 y de la 4. Please, 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 please. Y en 20 minutos terminamos. Solo una práctica. And we finished. Ok, screenshot 1 and 2. Vamos ahora a hacer screenshot de la 3 y 4. Creo que ya las tienen. Uno y dos. Ok. Vamos con la tres y cuatro. Three and four. Ok. I think we are ready. Ok. 19 minutos. And we finish. Práctica algo rápido. Y vamos. Teacher, a... me ayuda. No pude okay. capturar la, la, tres, la tres y la cuatro. Ahorita, ahorita. Ok, veamos, aquí tenemos, um, tenemos three and four, ¿verdad? Última actividad para terminar ya. Ya, yeah, ok. Ok, you're welcome. Yes, thank you. No worries. Ok, la última práctica y pues nos vamos a descansar. Ok, see you in a couple of minutes. Lo veo un par de minutos.
and I can run pretty fast, but I can't jump that high. Can you play soccer? No, I can't play soccer well because... A kitchen, the bark. Can you sing well? Uh, no, I can sing at all. Hey, all. I have a terrible. And can sing very well. I see. Yeah. So she has beautiful voice. Can you play an instrument? No, I can it play instrument. Either I have no talent in music. Are you good at cooking? So. Are you good at computers? I am very good at computer. I can make a web website. Websites? Websites and I can create software. Oh, can you fix a computer? I can fix a computer. What? Great, can you fix my computer? I can't read. Okay, number four. Are you good with cars? I am pretty good. So are you good at computing? I'm I'm very good at computing. I can make website and I can write software. Oh, can you fix a computer? Greg, can you fix my computer? I can trip. I can trip. Versación cuatro. Are you good with cars? I am pretty good with cars. I can fix them if they they need repairs.
Ok, um, to finish, ya casi para terminar, solo quiero explicar un pequeño tema y vamos a ver un, la, la conversación, ¿verdad? Pero antes que nada, quiero empezar a introducir un tema para el día de mañana. Este tema se llama There is, ¿verdad? There is o there are. There significa ahí o allí. Cuando decimos there is, decimos allí está o decimos allí hay. Si utilizamos el there are, utilizamos el allí están o allí hay. Por ejemplo, si quiero decir que ahí hay una mesa, digo there is a table. Pero si digo que hay escritorios, digo there are two desks. Bien, ahora vamos a ver, ya que tenemos el there is y there are, there is es para singular, there are es para plural. Vamos a ver los ejemplos. Con las mismas imágenes que nosotros pues estuvimos viendo al inicio, vamos a utilizar el there is y el there are. Bien, vamos a ver, en este caso yo puedo decir que aquí hay ciertos objetos. Vamos a utilizar el there is a, si hay un objeto, ahí nada más. No me van a utilizar que está sobre, a la par, no, solo there is a in the bedroom. Todo esto se llama bedroom, que es el dormitorio, ¿verdad? Comenzamos con María, ¿verdad? A ver si me puede mencionar que si hay algo. There is a, por ejemplo, puedo decir, there is a, uh, there is a poster in the bedroom. Aquí digo que hay un poster. Ok. There are books in the bedroom. There are books in the bedroom. Thank you. Ok, what about Jonathan? Then Alexis. There, there is a computer in the bedroom. Yes, of course. Thank you. Okay, Alexis and then Annie. A teddy in the bedroom. Yeah, there is a teddy in the bedroom. Thank you. Okay, Annie and then Christy. There is a pencil a desk. There is a pencil in the bedroom. Oh, there is a pencil on the desk. Thank you. Christy and then Astrid. There is a bed in the bathroom. In the bedroom, yes. That's good. Astrid and then Carly. There is a table in the bedroom. Good. Carly. There is the car in the bedroom. There is a car. A car. There is a car in There the bedroom. There is a car in the bedroom, yes. But, okay, Raul and then Raquel. There is a window in the bedroom. Yeah, there's a window. Okay, Raquel, and then Luis. There are a fish in the bedroom. Okay, there are fish. There fish. are fish in the bedroom. Thank you. Okay, Luis, and then Karina. There are cook in the bedroom. Okay, there are, te refieres a, a, a libros, book. A cup, 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 copa. Ah, una copa, there is a cup. Yes, a cup. A is cup, the a cup. Thank you, good. Karina and then Evelyn. There is a table in the bedroom. Thank you, Evelyn and Alejandro. There is, there is a cup. Muy cup. bien. In the bedroom, yes. Si decimos un libro, there is a book in the bedroom. Pero si decimos plural, decimos there are books, okay? There are books in the bedroom, okay? Thank you. Alejandra, your turn. There are a pencil in the bedroom. Muy bien, eh, igual. There is a pencil or there are pencils, okay? ¿Cuál sería, Alejandra? There is a pencil o there are pencils? There are pencils. Muy bien, there are pencils in the bedroom. Muy bien. Y aquí tenemos, eh, aquí está en in the living room. Está en la sala. Carly, ayúdame acá. And then Raúl. Puede ser, ajá, eh, Carly, activa el micrófono. Puede ser pillow, almohada, puede ser fishbowl, book, ajá. There is a fishbowl. There is a fishbowl in the living room. Thank you. Okay. Raul and then Astrid. The bowl. There is. The bowl is. 
No, there is. Uh, there is a board. Sala, como era? Living room. Living room. Living rooms. Living okay. rooms. Yes. Good. Okay. Who's next? ¿Quién va después? Astrid, ¿verdad? There. There is a dog in living room. Yeah, there's a dog in the living room. Thank you. Okay, Christy, ¿me ayudas? They are. They is there. born. They is born in the living room. Yes, in the living room. There is a ball in the living room. Ok, thank you. Muy bien. Entonces, si se dan cuenta, el there is es bien fácil, pero si utilizamos el there are, ya cambia. Entonces, si decimos there is, por ejemplo, there is a cat. Hay un libro, pero there is, perdón, hay un gato. There is a cat in the living room. Entonces, utilizamos el a, que es para uno. Pero si es plural... Si es plural, vamos a decir, por ejemplo, si hay gatos, decimos there are cats. No utilizamos el a, porque el a solo sirve para mencionar una cosa, ¿verdad? Entonces, debemos de tener cuidado con eso, con los singulares o plurales, ¿verdad? El día de mañana vamos a trabajar con esto, ¿verdad? Los singulares y plurales. Y este, para mañana necesito que por lo menos tengan una idea de qué objetos hay en su workplace, en su lugar de trabajo. Si trabajan en oficina, van a tener paper, van a tener folders, van a tener stapler, que es una engrapadora, computers. Si en el caso ustedes trabajan en otra área, puede que hayan carros, ¿verdad? Cars, puede que hayan camiones, trucks. Sí, depende del área de trabajo, ¿verdad? Así que el día de mañana debemos de traer por lo menos unos cinco este, objetos que nosotros tenemos, ¿verdad? Alrededor de nuestra área de trabajo. Ok. Good. Terminamos ya casi en cuatro minutos. Solo eh, veamos la práctica de esta conversation y me va a ayudar este, Karina. ¿Con quién estuviste, Karina? Con Raquel. Ok. Me pueden ayudar acá, number one. So, Todd. So, Todd, are you good at the sports? I am pretty good at sport. I can play basketball and baseball and I can run pretty fast, but I can't jump that height. height. Can you play soccer? No, I can't play soccer well because I am not good at kicking the ball. A kick in the ball. Okay, that's good. Thank you. Thank you very much. Okay, me va a ayudar Astrid in number two, please. Hey, con Luis. Yes. Can you sing well? No, I can sit at L am. I have a terrible voice. My friend can sing very well. She has a beautiful voice. Can you play an instrument? No, I can play an instrument. Either I have no talent in music. Okay, thank you, thank you. Me ayuda Maria, please, with number three. Um, con Alejandra estuvimos. This. Um, what do you think about your new house? Esa es, o no? no, no, sería la que puse aquí, la que he puesto aquí. Are you good at cooking? Okay, but, but, okay. Um, are you good at uh, cooking? I can't cook very well. I can only make basic things. Oh, oh yes. yeah. What can you cook? I can cook at omelets and uh, I can bake, bake cookies. cookies. That is I, I can do. Yeah. Yeah. I can cook either. So are you good at computers? 
I am very good at computer. I can make ways um, websites website and I can write software. Mm -hmm. Oh. Oh, can you fix a computer? I can fix a computer. Great. Can you fix my computer? I can try. Okay, I can try. Thank you. Bien. Solo quiero revisar estas palabras, ¿verdad? Can or can't. Aquí, mm -hmm. cuando decimos I can sing at all. At all. ¿Verdad? At all. At all. I can sing at all. Yes. Tenemos cuando aquí decimos terrible. 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 At all. Terrible. Tenemos dove, ¿verdad? Dove. Voice. Either. Aquí ve, that is all. Igual aquí ve, at all. Aquí es all. Either. Website. Software. Try. Repairs. Sort. Change. Tire. Bien, el día de mañana tal vez le damos una media repasada a esa conversación. Terminamos la clase. We finish the class. Sé que están cansaditos, vayan a descansar. See you tomorrow. Ahí les envío la, las actividades para mañana. Ok. Goodbye, my friends. Bye. 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 Goodbye. Okay, um, today, uh, this class, we were supposed to be with um, Norma, I, uh, I guess, Norma. And uh, it is difficult uh, for her, it was difficult for her to be here. So um, I'm going to um, review part of the, the topics or the contents we studied uh, in this class. So we started by uh, talking about whether any students mentioned the, the weather that they prefer. So we practiced uh, sunny, rainy, snowy, Rainbow, uh, windy, foggy, cloudy, stormy. It was very interesting because most of them prefer sunny or rainy days. And even there are some students that they prefer the opposite uh, weather types, for example, sunny and rainy. Then we continue uh, with the ways to say yo también. And this is a very important uh, content because you can use these phrases when uh, a person is having a conversation. And when you say me too, for example, I am happy, me too, I am happy too. I love you, me too, I love you too. It means that you have uh, an agreement uh, related to the to the idea that you mentioned. You can also say, I am happy, so am I. Or you can say, I love you, so do I. There are other forms to say, uh, yo tampoco, that it is the opposite to say, uh, yo también, right? So here we can use either, either and neither. For example, I am not happy, I'm, I am not either. I am not happy either. I don't love you, I don't either. I don't love you either, okay? And here we have neither am do I. For example, you can say, I am not happy, neither am I. I don't love you, neither do I. And there is another informal way to say yo tampoco by saying neither me, neither me. And you can check that on movies. Then we have exercises. Jenny, uh, this is, uh, well, 
there are eight sentences in which Jenny expressing ideas. For example, Sarah loves chocolate. In this case, you can you have to answer, so do I for me too. I don't play the piano. You can say, neither do I, or I don't play the piano either. Number three, Catherine is Canadian. So am I, or I am Canadian too. Number four, she isn't in the party. So am I, or I am not, ah, sorry, this is a negative. So she isn't in the party. You can say neither am I, or I am not in the party either. Now we have five. Lucy doesn't come early in the morning. As we are using uh, like, the auxiliary doesn't, it is a negative sentence. So we have to say, neither do I, or I don't come early either. Number six, I have to study this weekend. You can answer, um, so do I, or uh, I have to study this weekend too. Number seven, Dan lives in Madrid. It is like a common verb, lives. So you can say, so do I, or you can say, I live in Madrid too. Number eight, she doesn't have any brothers or sisters. You can say, um, neither do I, or I don't have either. We have uh, some other uh, speaking activity. The topic was, what is the biggest risk that you have taken? It was uh, very awesome because uh, most of them talked about some negative aspects, but uh, on the other hand, we had some uh, students who talked about experience at work and how they quit their previous job to go to a new workplace. And it is a big risk because you don't have like a very clear idea about the environment you're going to find uh, or even the kind of buses you may have and different things. We studied preposition of place. In this case, we studied in, on, under, next to, behind, in front of, between. We used uh, these prepositions of place to express ideas about some objects that appeared in the bedroom. For example, we can say there is a, com well, the computer is on the desk, the cat is behind the bed. So um, there are a lot of examples we can use. For example, uh, the poster is on the wall. The chair is, well, the ball is under the chair and so on. There was another picture, but in this case, uh, it was not on the, in the living room. I'm sorry, in the bathroom, but it is in the living room. So we can say uh, the dog is next to the sofa, the cat is on the sofa, or uh, the fish bowl is on the, ta on the table, the desk. The book is next to the fish bowl. There are other prepositions of place that we can use to uh, say the address or express um, 
yes, uh, an address, for example, on the fourth avenue, on the corner, on the street. We can also say in El Salvador, in San Salvador, in the park, in the neighborhood, at the meeting room, at work, at the bank. There are some uh, sentences that students completed successfully. For example, the work, I work in the bank that is on First Avenue and Barrows Street. Number two, the factory is located in La Libertad. Three, we see you at training room or in the cafeteria. Number four, Anna works in the company that is in town. Number five, my relatives go to the mall that is on Roosevelt Street. And number six, tell him that we are at the mirror room with everybody. We started uh, this map of a city uh, in which we can find bank, mall, restaurant, sport palace, park, arrow companies, school, church, city hall, book work. Even there is a park in the middle of the town and there is Barrio Street, Roosevelt Street, First Avenue, Second Avenue. So we expressed some ideas about addresses or directions, how to get into the restaurant or how to locate sport palace and church. Students did it very good. And, and even I presented another map related to the same topic. I think it, it was a very good class and they learned like the specific things and the basic things, how to express address. So see you next class.